ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਅੰਕਲ ਜੀ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਨਾਮ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਗੁਰਦਿਆਲ ਸਿੰਘ ਨੀਲ ਓਕੇ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਜਨਮ ਕਦੋਂ ਤੇ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਹੋਇਆ ਸੀ ਆ ਵਾਸ ਬੋਰਨ ਇਨ ਲੁਧਿਆਣਾ ਇਨ 1925 ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਆ ਵਾਸ ਐਜੂਕੇਟਿਡ ਇਨ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਆ ਹੈਡ ਮਾਈ ਫਰਸਟ ਡਿਗਰੀ ਫਰਮ ਲਾਹੌਰ ਇਨ 1946 ਓਕੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਆ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਟੀਚਿੰਗ ਇਨ 48 ਯੂ نو ਆ ਹੈਡ ਮਾਈ bachelor of teaching from jalandhar then i did my masters from alabad university there now what had happened at that time when i was doing my masters from alabad in kenya they wanted some teachers for the indian schools okay and uh, i applied they accepted me but then i wrote them back that i am doing my masters and could you give me some more time they replied within a week you know that when you finish your degree then you let us know and then when i done in 1915 may uh, my masters i 1958 wrote, 1950 1950 okay 1946 mm-hmm. i did my first degree then okay. 48 uh, second and the final i did it then i applied them back you know they at that time there were three types of schools in kenya one was for white people other was for indian the third was for black or local people the salaries were also different the indian supposing the white teacher with a maximum qualification would get 1000 shillings indian would get 600 whereas african would get 400 dollar 400 shilling for the same job per month you know mm. so there was a discrimination, discrimination. so uh, in india it was much less at that time so i was uh, encouraged to move here i came to mombasa in july 1951 okay i was put in a indian school because they had only most of the students were either from gujarat or punjab and the teachers were from gujarat or punjab they start they they were preparing students for a high school or the o level that is called the examining body was the cambridge university university so we i started there at that time then along with it there was a scouting also so i became a scout master and with the first aid also okay so, so these things happened together so by the time i became a scout master every year there was a parade for the remembrance day parade it was on 11th of november they mm-hmm. remember so i was involved in that one we used to participate in the parade and all that one so i was i came up in that ladder very quickly and then they had a jamboree scout jamboree in england 1957 luckily i was selected as a deputy leader to go there so we had eight indian scouts eight uh, europeans and 14 african so it was a contingent of 32 people we traveled to england and we met the i met the queen in 1957 okay very yeah, nice she came just like that to the camp and then we were given a tour of england scotland in uh, july 1957 okay. so i had the chance mm-hmm. to travel all over and it was the all expenses paid by the british government very nice very and nice. then at that time what had happened if you have taught for 5 years you get an overseas leave so i will, in 1958 i got say 6 month overseas leave i went to india and at that time we had through a children to travel and sutender they were there in um um kindergarten and so so we went to india we traveled along with it came back then slowly i was made as the 
as senior teacher and at that time say the education commission came what had happened they because there was a little bit education in kenya they wanted africans wanted more rights to them hmm. so they sent a, a education commission that came and went over they examined the whole thing then they brought in a new regulation equal pay for equal qualification hmm. i was getting say 6 tenth all of a sudden i overnight i became education officer and with the we started getting good houses on bangalore and the salary was up there and everything changed my lifestyle was changed then after that we came and uh, they gave independence to kenya in 63 okay when they gave independence mm-hmm. they brought into the constitution in the declaration that these officers who were hired from outside kenya they will be known as expatriates hmm. and their pension will be secured every they can have their pension anywhere all that was so they gave me independent and at that time in 67 my son and my daughter had done their o level so they were born there they were british citizens and uh, along with it they brought the regulation the africanization they call it so anybody who is born the first preference will be given to africans to study higher education so we had we were stuck there so what should we do generally people used to send their children to england or india for higher study so we thought over it because what should we do because perhaps they will be giving chance to africans mm-hmm. rather than say our children so i made an inquiry find out where should we go i had my certification teaching certification for england done they accepted me and then i found out from the kenya from kenya house canada and i just we knew someone we wrote some letters to mombasa bc they said oh, there are six here there are gurudwara here and all that the climate is mild so oh, if you want to come but they didn't encourage you because mm. local six didn't encourage because they say there is a discrimination so i applied and luckily i was accepted on a teacher full uh, visa so we i like like a te- teaching visa yeah uh, in canada like was it a teaching visa yeah no, yeah no it was a regular, regular. immigration visa regular oh, okay. okay 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 and uh, there what i they had given me the certification i applied uh, we came here we i retired on august 3rd in 69 we went from mombasa to nairobi to london we had two weeks holiday there we came landed in vancouver on 21st of august uh, 1969 and how old were you at that time i was in year was 45 45 okay because i had done my teaching uh, there or education officer mm-hmm. for 18 years mm-hmm. so they have my secured my pension because supposing and i was on 3 months leave overseas leave at that time i could bring 6 tons of luggage because it was my last voyage mm-hmm. so i could bring anything so we came here and then when i came here i started looking for a job here it was a system that generally they hire the teacher in may because for the next year <laughs> school started in september and they have done all, already they have hired whatever is there so they you know, there's no chance at all school started on 3rd of september and i had applied there was nothing you know so what we do we put the children in schools and we stayed two weeks in gurdwara on second avenue and luckily what had happened in one of the schools here in richmond the numbers have increased 
they wanted a extra chemistry teacher. Hmm. So I was there in Gurdwara, somebody phoned me that can you come for an interview? And I said, I don't know anybody, I'm a new to the person. Then the director of education at that time, he told, phoned me, told me that take bus number 60 from Vancouver to Richmond. I came here and I saw him, when I saw him, he was such a nice person. He said, we don't hire, the principal hires and he, can, can I take you, give you a ride, take you with me to the school concern. Both of us, myself, my wife was with me, we went, I had met the queen, I had a picture of the queen with me. <laughs> I showed him there, he was impressed. What a thing. And he took me to the school. I don't know what had happened. He talked to the principal five minutes. And the afterwards he came, can you start teaching on Friday? Or it was Friday, hmm. can you start on teaching? Monday. Monday. Hmm. And I was given a job. And I was living in Gurdwara. When I came, and the next Monday, there was a person who was living there. He was, he was a lab assistant there. And he took me to the school. I started teach, teaching. First, they gave me grade 10 math and grade 11 chemistry. And after a week, I was uh, hired, and they started at that time, I was, when I was living, interestingly, I was living at the Gurdwara, they thought he cannot get a teaching job. Because at that time, a terrible person would not get a job in, in teaching in BC. So they sent someone to the school to find out whether he's a teacher or a janitor. Hmm. So the principal later on talked to me, there was a person from your community to check you know, whether you are a teacher or a janitor. Then I came later on, no, that the, these things were, because there was a discrimination. They thought, you know, a turbaned man cannot be a teacher in a high school. It was a unique thing. For them. So I started teaching. When I came from Kenya, we came from Kenya, I had 8,000 pounds with me because that was the incentive for my retirement, the partially retirement was mm -hmm. there. So I, we came here and after two weeks I got a job, went around to look at the house. We went around, the whole family, five of us, all with them, walking around different. We found a house, the rent was $195 a month. And that fellow said, you want the whole house? I said, yes. We rented the whole house for $195 in those days. Mm -hmm. A month and the whole family moved in after a week. Then at that time what we had done, we had our, all our luggage, all utensils, sheets, sent by sea. Mm -hmm. The stuff has come back, so we had a house, we had all our things were there, we established there ourselves. And then <coughs> I started teaching, things were normal. Mm -hmm. The teachers were very good and I had put my son and daughter in this grade 11 because they knew the English very well. They were we became they became the favorite with the teacher because mm -hmm. they could communicate with the interpreter and all that one. This is very nice. They will say they will tell me your children are angels here because this was a different. Mm -hmm. And then you know, after two months, because I had no transportation, I used to walk from number two to uh, number one, and then. We all went together to buy a car. Went to found out we bought a brand new car in October uh, for two thousand dollars, Cortina, brand new. The next day I drove because I had international license. Mm. Drove, uh, put the car in the parking lot. Teachers saw. <laughs> 
What Surprise. a man <laughs> with a brand new car, he comes here, <coughs> people have to struggle for 10 years, then they can afford that one. Hmm. And then the news went around in the school, this fellow must have brought a lot of money, he must have forest. In there in Africa, he is very rich man. The, my standard went from here to here <laughs> because all of a sudden they changed him. Hmm. And then I thought things were nice and everything. But our community people, one of the people who was with Turban and he was like a priest in Gurdwara, he said, Sardar, they come to the Chemini Kataka. I tell the Kataka, I don't know what the hell they did. We all took our determination that if things go wrong, we'll go back. We, at that time, this was the two discriminate and another fellow who was a Hindu, who he comes on the first, second day when we were landed in Vancouver, you must can Canadianize. Panji, Hmm. You become, you must become Canadian. Skirta, both upset to me. Can you, this is, Bill go back, she, she cried and cried. And then, what had happened, luckily everything worked out. After a year, they, from provision, they put me, confirmed me as a teacher job. Then, we went around, we had a job, hmm. to a house. We went around here, we looked around the houses and we bought a brand new house for $28,000 at that time. So I had money, I, I had for first mortgage, second mortgage, we paid, we had a house, we had a job. And the kid, they have done their high lab school, they were went to the university. Ours was a real, real successful story. Mm -hmm. Then, along with it, what had happened, we started teaching Punjabi classes. At the, uh, the Gurdwara? Uh, yeah, first in Gurdwara, then the, in Gurdwara the politics came. Mm -hmm. <coughs> We volunteer for a month, summer time. They started try to give us money for the to the coaching. You know. Then we got together few volunteers. We rented it a, a school in David Thompson School. We started our Punjabi classes. Uh, where, where is that in Vancouver? Vancouver. Oh, okay. Because it was a full central point. We collected. Uh, to students from say grade 5 to 12 all used to come once a week that teachers or volunteers who were teachers in India or somewhere they had masters and bachelor's degree we started teaching on Friday evening from 7 to 9 and we did it for say 72 to 85, I retired in 85 from the teaching. So we did that one. So that was like seva, free of cost. Uh, pardon? It was like free of cost. Like people yeah. didn't pay for it. Yeah. No, no pay. Mm -hmm. All volunteer, all we did volunteer. Then they, everything worked out. We started doing the politics also. I used to, we used to go to Gurdwara and she used to do the kirtan at the Gurdwara. Then, luckily, the election came in 74. In 73, there were two committees. The Gur Gurdwara election? Gurdwara, Rostin oh, Gurdwara. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they wanted to have the president election. Hmm. And the Gurdwara was, have you seen the Rostin? Yeah, I've seen, yeah. Yeah, this was packed, you know. He, he, this happened in only about for end of uh, 73 or beginning of 74. And then somebody proposed somebody's name, say he will be the, our nominee president. Then somebody from the, from, sure, we have done Kirtan few years, somebody proposed Mr. Neil. When they those who were 
am proposing the other paper so if mr neil agrees will withdraw <coughs> and luckily that for we do then they said all right by acclamation mr neil is elected they left it to me to form the committee myself they gave me all the power hmm. then you know there were things were so bad so bad all people the clean ship hmm. we didn't have people who five people who could give prashad with the term so after the election we formed whosoever i didn't know anybody i was a rookie you know and we we formed the committee whosoever came they came guy secretary vice president treasurer they we start then those people who were against us in the committee they started opposing us because they would come without covering the head you know so what had happened they brought us a uh, meeting they came to the meeting they said we want to what have meeting where we want to discuss divorce divorce <laughs> and i was stuck you know they are talking about divorce is a gurudwara mm -hmm. then there was a fight in the gurudwara sir in the langar police came and fight, fight regarding about they they wanted to have a meeting we said we don't want the religious meeting over but nothing uh, social or po political thing you know social thing we don't want to discuss in the gurudwara mm -hmm. anything social so it became there. a vi violent fight eh? it it became a violent fight yeah no they started to, somebody started throwing uh, chairs and all that they were at the university you know mm -hmm. and uh, then the police came the police commissioner said you know who so sergeant say to tomorrow five of your representative five of yours come to meet us at the police station they went there we all were ten of us then the police uh, superintendent he said mr neil is elected so whatever he decide you have to obey mm -hmm. the things we came all right then whole year i had no problem at all because the police was at the back of us and then things went out but it was a very hard year for me mm -hmm. because i no didn't stress and responsibilities on you yeah all the responsibility yeah. was on me and every weekend i would speak and request the sangat that please cover your head you mm -hmm. if you can show me a gurudwara in india any historic gurudwar where you go without, without covering that and then there was a problem every time problem was there we continued then at the end of the year the with the election it was one year we have somebody proposed that mr neil may be continue for the next year i said no i've done then they got a injunction from the court that we don't want him so we went to the court the judge asked what is your position i said sir i was elected for one year i have done my duty now let it the election be done again he agreed then the election in 75 was done so i went away then we started our continue classes we started volunteering we did a lot of things i taught for here a for a, say 16 year the dg5 and i said an officer i retired at the age of 60 and then we continue volunteer we to start a traveling i have we both of us would travel we have been to 60 countries all over the world and we did everything whatever we are they have done children had done very well they were married and all that one he was a university my daughter was a pharmacist youngest son was a chiropractor so everything set for mm. so that's it this the our story and that's really nice and uh, i would like to thank you for taking yeah. out the time and yeah. sharing you. your entire story with us yeah yeah council school yeah, yeah if if you want to add something else also you please
Khalsa school. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm school. Mm-hmm. We, we had a, <coughs> you know, uh, when I retired in 85, the community, they were running a something for education. In 86, they wanted to start. Mr. This Mr. Malik, he is, uh, is interested in Khalsa school. In 86, they came to me as a community. So you have retired, mm-hmm. why don't you do some seva for us? Mm-hmm. I said, all right. So they wanted to start a Khalsa school, the Khalsa school in Vancouver. And uh, they said, uh, I, I should I have my request to you. I won't take a penny from you because I'm retired. And I don't want any interference. And it will be run on the education system. Mm-hmm. They agreed to it. So I became the principal of the Khalsa school that was uh, opened, started in 1986. In Vancouver? In Vancouver. And it was on Fraser, there was some elementary school, they did it. We did it now, that institution has 26,000 students from kindergarten to grade 12, we have five uh, complexes, uh, three in Surrey, one in Mission, one in Langley, one in uh, somebody else's. And they are doing very well. And we have got, say, near 200 teachers. We have 60, 70 buses, everything. Full fed on, school. Yeah. I'm on the board. I am 93 now, nearly, and they respect me very well. I had the highest honor of, from the community. And I was awarded the, for this service, the Queen Elizabeth uh, uh, mm-hmm. Mem- Dem- 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 Diamond Dem- Jubilee Medal. Yeah, it's very nice. Oh, I have a wagon with me and what was with बहुत कुछ जाता है सारे बच्चे सारी जो इज्जत वाहन मिलती है वो तो लड़ा लड़ा खलास करता है नहीं जी थैंक यू सो मच दैट्स वेरी नाइस एंड थोड़ी स्टोरी इंस्पायरिंग भी है ये बड़ी फॉर द यंगर जेनरेशंस सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर डेइंग योर टाइम